Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another episode of Ask Brick. I have some pretty good questions for this week's episode, but before we get started, I kindly ask you that you send me some more Ask Brick questions. I think I have enough questions for this week's episode as well as next week's episode, but I'm always looking to put new questions in my question bank. Just don't be alarmed if next week I don't read the questions you left this week and so on. Gluing your LEGO sets and mocks protects them from breaking, but it stops you from ever using those parts again. LEGO allows you to glue and unglue your LEGO sets so you can keep them safe, but use the parts again in the future. Visit the link in the description to learn more and check out LEGO in all its glory in my LEGO video. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily LEGO videos. The first question is from Maniac Turkey. Ask Brick, have you ever done any Bionicle set reviews? If so, what was your favorite characters? If not, will you ever? No, I have never done a single Bionicle set review, mainly because I don't own, well, I don't think I do, I don't own a single Bionicle set. Bionicle's just not a theme that I'm really interested in, and I just, I'm not a fan of Bionicle whatsoever. I have not done any reviews, I don't have a favorite character, and I will never probably do a review of Bionicle. I never want to say, never say never, but 90% chance that I will never, ever, 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 ever do a Bionicle review. Raptor Lizard asked, will you ever make an Air Force base or use brick arms? Most likely I will not ever make an Air Force base just because I'm more into the LEGO City and I mean you could have an Air Force base in the city, it's just a little bit more military. But the second part of the question was, will you ever use brick arms? Yes, I definitely will. Brick arms are definitely my favorite LEGO minifigure accessories. I keep them all here at the front of my binder and they're all in these like hockey player cards all in different bags and all labeled with the many different colors and different ones that I have and I really really like them and I mentioned I have a lot of them and now you can see I have a lot of them most of them labeled and then the rest of the binders just other like Lego accessories and things like that that I have brick arms though definitely my favorite and I paid for 99% of them with my own money because I actually don't have a like a sponsorship or a partnership with them for my YouTube channel yet hopefully someday because that would be super awesome pumpkin bricks ask what are your favorite builders in the community well I have a lot of different builders there's just so many to choose from lots of different great builders lots of great city builders lots of great sculpture builders lots of great everything kind of builders. I'm going to skip one answer here, and honestly one of my favorite builders is Jason and Crystal from JK Bricksworks, the two of them, I think they're husband and wife or something like that, and both of them make really epic LEGO mocks. I mean Jason, he's coming out with an official LEGO idea set this April, the like Marble Maze, so I know him, he's a really nice guy, I've met him several times before, and his wife or girlfriend or something like that crystal she i think it's crystal she makes awesome lego mocks as well and she really made she made this one like head where you open up the head and a whole town literally rose from outside the head and it was just so cool and jason he's on youtube he's got way more subscribers than i do and he's always making cool mock videos the last question for this week's episode is from joshua when did lego ever make you so mad that you wanted to quit playing with lego I don't honestly think Legos ever made me that mad where I'm like just ready to pack it all up and be done playing with Lego. But I remember one time Lego did really make me mad was when they released not just the first series but the second series of Simpsons minifigures. I mean there's nothing wrong with the Simpsons it's just except the figures look really stupid. I mean the sets are cool and I was just really disappointed when they wasted a whole eight months about I think is it eight months or how many ever months the two series were on the market for that was a waste where they could have been releasing a lot of different collectible minifigure series and the only reason I'm even happy that Lego like put those series on the market was the fact that for those couple months I got to save my like my money and not spend it on four dollars a minifigure that is the only bonus the Simpsons minifigure had I think they're really stupid minifigures and I am sorry for the people who really like those minifigures and that really frustrated me when LEGO didn't just make one series, but they made two Simpsons series figures. I'm like, are you kidding me? But I wasn't ready to pack up and quit playing with LEGO. I just was kind of ticked off that they had to do something so 
thanks everybody so much for watching this week's episode of Ask Brick. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought as well as don't forget to comment your Ask Brick questions. Thanks everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great day.